Okay, I'm going to show you a substitute chord that I use a whole lot, and it's a D7 flat 9. We're going to substitute it for a D7. Okay, here's how it works. If you're in the key G, your 2 5 1 is A minor 7, D7, G major 7. Instead of the D7 in there, we're going to substitute the flat 9. It's kind of like voice leading. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a tune. Sorry, I'm going to have to sing, and I know I can't. But, uh, let's do Autumn Leaves in the key of G. And it actually starts out in the on a 2-5-1. And first I'm going to do a little bit of it straight with just a D7 to see the comparison. The falling leaves drip by your window. Okay, that was a straight D7. Now we'll flat the 9. The falling leaves drip by your window. The autumn leaves Okay, uh, so that's one way you can use it there. Now let's go in the key of F, and uh, I want you to move these chords around. So let's get in the key of F, and the 2 5 1 in F is G minor 7, C7, F major 7. But we're going to flat the 9 here. Let's make it a C7 flat 9. Okay. Uh, let's do a You Are the Sunshine of My Life. We'll do a popular tune here. And it's got a D7 in it. And it has a C7 in it. First I'm going to play it straight with this D7 and C7. Then I'm going to flat the 9 and see if you like that sound better. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be with you. Okay, let's flat the 9. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be with you. Do, 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 do. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be with you. Okay, we got it there. Okay, let's try it in the key of C. And I'll show you how you can do it there, use it there. Let's take um, C. If you're in C many, many, many times, you're going to go to an F chord. And the way you want to get to that F chord many, many, many times is by a G minor 7, C7, by a 2, 5, 1. Okay? So let's do an old tune, The Nearness of You, and we'll show you how this works. I just need to give you a little shot of it. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me. Okay, now let's flat the 9 on the 2 5 1, see if you like that better. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me. Oh no. It's just the nearness of you. Okay, so you can use it that way. Okay, I'm only going to give you one grip on the substitute chords, most of them. Some I might give you two. This one I'm only giving you one. Okay. Let's move to another chord. This is going to be a two gripper. I'm going to have two chords, the same name. Okay, this is a D minor 7 flat 5. It's also F minor 6. Forget all that. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you. Just don't think of anything but this being a D minor 7 flat 5. Just keep it simple. I'm not getting into a lot of theory here. So that's how to make it. That's on your fifth fret there. Fifth string, root. It's inside four, you call it. Inside four strings. You don't hit this and you don't hit this. It's just when you run into this uh, last, uh, the first string, you just go, just stop it right there like that. Don't try to go. 
just go, just run right into it. Okay, that's how you do that. Okay, let's take it up to the tenth fret. I know if you count the frets up here, it's probably only eight or so, but when you see a ten there, that means it's a tenth fret. Here we go. This might be a little awkward for you. Sound the same. This is a D note. That's a D note. Tenth fret. Okay, you got that. Now, let's take this D minor 7 flat 5 and let's walk it down to a B. That's a B note. Here's a B note. Seventh fret. Play that a couple times. Okay, now you got it. Okay, now look, if you were in a key of A, A major, your 2 5 1 would be B minor 7, E7, A major 7. Now there's also 2 5 1s in minor keys. If you're in an A minor, well, your 2 5 1 would be B minor 7, E7, A minor 7, or A minor, whatever you want. Okay, now, many times, probably more than not, you'll substitute this B minor 7 flat 5 for the A, I mean for the B minor 7. You'll make it like this. Kind of has a haunting sound. Dum, da -dum, the death march or the wedding thing here. Not that I compare the two, I'm happily married. Okay, so... Uh, I'm get in trouble here. Okay, so we've got that. So we want to do a tune. And let's do a Fly Me to the Moon in the key of C. Okay, in the key of C, the relative minor is A minor. The way you find that is by going six degrees C, D, E, F, G, A, six. If you're in the key of F, it's D minor. F, G, a, B, C, D is a 6. Okay, so you go, that, that's how you find that out. So anyway, you're in the key of C, and it's a, we have a minor key, and we'll do Fly Me to the Moon, and uh, my wife and I do it, and you can go play along with us. I've got the chords written down there on my channel there, so go play along with us after you know, the, you'll know every single chord now, after you know this. Okay, so let's try, um, let's see if I can even sing the thing. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring, there it is right there, spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Now let's try it up here. There it is, two, five, one. Fill my heart with song. So that's that. Now you you know all those chords, you know stuff. Just mess around with them, and I'm out of time right now. I gotta go.